start of a new year? Are you one of the many that make New Year's resolutions? We are already more than just over a month into 2023. How are your New Year's resolutions going? Whether they are business or personal ones, have you broken them already? Or have you not set any for 2023 and don't know what you want to achieve this year? Why not review or set these and see if you can become refocused and keep to methods that will help you achieve them. Keep with me and let's see if we can become refocused together. So these New Year's resolutions for your personal and business development goals, if you have not set any yet, why would you set them in the first place? Well, are you a plodder that is going from one thing to the next without any purpose or speed? Or a go-grabber without any direction? In both instances, setting goals are still important. For both personal and business goals, you need to identify your passions. Imagine your future, what you want it to be like, and set goals you can control. By doing this, it will give you a sense of direction, helps you to see the bigger picture around you, gain control of your future, and provides motivation to achieve, and also the satisfaction and great feeling of completing these. Do you have a list of goals? Who has kept a mental list of these? I can guarantee many of you watching are there nodding your heads, saying, yes, that's me. I've been foul of this in the past too. Just think how easy it is to push this to the back of your mind and the goals are all forgotten within a matter of hours, days or weeks. That's the stage you are probably at now. Whether it is in electronic or paper form, write these goals down and place them somewhere where you will see them on a daily basis. Be careful. Don't put them in a place where you can see them but easily ignore them. The object is to keep seeing them and instill them in your mind by repetitively seeing and being mindful of them. I would say most probably attached to the fridge, a mirror or a door that you use regularly. If it is business goals and you have a team that works with you, also have these visible to them too if possible. But why have these goals just got to be New Year's resolutions though? Most that set New Year's resolutions do you break them? It's a kind of mindset that sets in for January. And when you don't meet them in January, you give up and carry on the rest of the year without any focus. Many of us has been there and possibly at that point now. But can these goals not be set and for them to have a timescale target in order to change over a timescale depending on that goal? If you set a deadline for each individual goal, this could develop over a shorter time and you'll be more likely to reach them. Don't wait until the end of the year to go, oh well, another year down, let's set the same goals again next year. We all have done this. Life is short and as each year whizzes by, why keep setting the same goals year after year and never achieve them? It only gives you a negative thought process by it all and you will never achieve these even with the best intentions. Break the goals down into smaller targets and timescales. This makes them more achievable. Now this doesn't mean you are cheating yourself. This gives you smaller goal targets to reach, but you could highlight the main goal at the top of the list with broken down goals underneath on the way to achieving the main goal. This is often referred to as a goal ladder. Now planning is key to your goals being met. As you know what you're working towards, how are you going to get there? After breaking them down into individual steps, you can create an action plan that should keep you on track. It's important to keep that list and cross off each step once completed. If keeping this electronically, do not delete the step. You need a visual reminder of where you started to how much has been accomplished. You'll feel very optimistic if you gain more steps towards that final goal. Now you are fully actioning your goals and not that stagnant place you would have been in if you had just made a mental list and forgot about them. 
Don't lose that focus and keep action on what you need to. On the other hand, don't become obsessed with achieving these goals and lose sight of everything else around you. As things change and can impact on those goals set, as something else more important comes up, or potentially an external influence causes those goals to be delayed or for them to never be met. Make sure you can be adaptable and potentially able to mend those goals accordingly if something like this does come up, then make sure you do not see yourself as a failure as the positive from this situation is that you are able to adapt and change to what you need to. Upon reflection of your goal setting, you need to ensure that you have been realistic in your goal targets as you don't want timeframes to have been too tight or too lenient for you. This will be a complete learning curve for you as people's mindsets generally do not want them to be set up for a failure. So it may have been too easy a target for you. Therefore, you need to test yourself further if you're achieving goals way ahead of the timescales you have set or way over achieving whatever has been set. Don't be negative and defeated if they were too unrealistic as you've set yourself up for a failure. If you're not sure on the best way to go about even starting to think about goals, you may want to watch our previous videos on SMART goals. This video is also useful in helping you set those goals if you do not know even where to begin. I shall highlight the link here for you. Now if you're setting goals, it can make you feel lonely and overwhelmed by even trying to address what I've been discussing and you think you will still end up struggling with these. You think these goals can't be achieved by just me. Why not try a different method that we've mentioned in a previous video by appointing an accountability partner? If you haven't seen this video, I will highlight the link here for you. You tell a friend who you then become accountable to. They are your accountability partner. You tell them your goals, what time cells you're aiming for. If you do not reach your goals, you have to inform them too. This gives you a mindset that if you do not reach them, you also have to admit to them, as well as yourself, that you're not on track. This gives you more of an incentive to make steady progress and to keep on targets towards your goals as informing someone else of this rather than just yourself knowing gives you more of a responsibility to stay on track. You don't always want to hear out loud you haven't achieved what you set out to. Maybe for your business goals that you have set, seek the opportunity to work with those around you to assist in working with you to meet the goals you wish to achieve. Remember that if you've made your team around you aware of your goals, they become your accountability partners too, as you do not want to let them down if you can't reach those business goals. Also, you are only one individual. You cannot specialise in everything. So if your goal is to keep up with social media and engage in more specific marketing, try use a marketing expert. If it is to understand your numbers, then this is not something you can learn quickly or by yourself. Use your accountant to learn those skills. There you have it, some different methods to help you keep to those goals that you would like to meet. There are methods that should help you in all aspects of your life and will keep you focused for 2023 and beyond. I hope you have enjoyed the video and you're finding the right methods to help you achieve your goals. Now please comment and let us know what methods you have chosen to use and how it has worked for you. We'd also really appreciate if you could click the like button below and if you want to see more of our videos, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever we release a new video. It really helps us know that you like what we're doing and tell YouTube that other people could also benefit from this video. Now, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been useful to you and remember sometimes just one thing is all it takes. See you soon.